See, now that is more like it. This, this is how we spend vacation time. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone uh, le, uh, on the table. Le, just shush, I'm trying to enjoy the view here. You spoiled the moment now. Yippee, there'll be no wedding bells. And we're back. And we're here outside the ranger station in the National Park. We have now acquired all the supplies we were told to acquire by Joshua. And we now have to deliver them to Daniel. We have a walkie-talkie. We have a compass, five lunch boxes of all things, and we have a medical kit, a first aid kit of some sort. And we have to deliver all of this to Daniel. And Daniel can be found past the Sorrows camp, across this water through these canyons. So that is where we're going to be heading now. And I have to say, this place looks so much better during the day. We're definitely avoiding travelling at night from now on. This looks like a great place for an ambush. Yes, it does. Like the shadow of a ghost. Assuming this is the way we were supposed to be going. Ranger Substation Osprey. Map marker. Oh! Dude. Dude. Oh, it's a big horner. It's a big horner. This is this is classified as a peak then, isn't it? You're you're giving me a sneak preview. Let's have a look. What have you added to my map? You've added Caterpillar's Mound. Over there somewhere. We will check it out. After we've... This is something we call lock picking. Um, some people call it stealing. And technically these people would probably be correct. But there's no one around. I don't think anybody needs this stuff anymore. And so I prefer to call this acquisitioning. Okay, acquisitioning. Um, that's all we need, I think. Yep, or oh, looting. Looting is another good uh, way of describing it. It's, it's very neutral and non-judgmental, which we like. Conductor, no thank you. Another park ranger hat, which you didn't seem to like. Uh, cattleman, cow cattleman cowboy hat. Have I seen one of those? I don't actually remember it. You know what? We're going to take the park ranger hat. Feels good to be doing some actual scouting, not just following. Yeah. See, as I was saying, um, we're going to take the ranger hat because... You never know. We might have, like, a party or something. I have a party, a fancy dress party. Let's all go as park rangers. And I'll need lots of the hats for the boys and girls. Um, did I just see something move very, very, very quickly past the big horner? Or did I see a big horner move very, very quickly? Okay, anyway, I was, I was going to try the hat. Or I was going to do that. Okay, let's try that again. I was going to try and put on the Cattleman's Cowboy Hat. It's... Have I seen this before? I've seen a Rattan Cowboy Hat. I've seen... I don't remember a Cattleman's. However... It just isn't as good. Okay, so. We are heading off. 
Okay, no. Cueva Guaracha, we've also discovered. Caterpillar's man Cueva Guaracha. Okay, what what is that? And how do we get to it? Um It's right below us. Um you're, 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 you're not going to like this, because I'm, I'm pretty determined to get down there. Okay, maybe that was... Oh! Here's me maligning your ability to drop off ledges. That compass thing always knows we're north. Okay, you mean that? Yeah, Even um... Can't see oh, the still stars. down, still down, still down. Okay, we're going all the way down. Okay, we should probably have gone all the way round. But you know what? Cueva Gurache, whatever the hell that means. And it's... It probably means Cave of Horribleness, doesn't it? Huh? Something like that? Probably. Okay. Here's the deal. Sure. Wait okay. here. Okay. I'll wait behind. I tell you to stay aggressive, like but I'm whenever I do, you're starting to sound like the old Joshua. Okay, got it. You get like that, which which worries me. So I tell you what. Now you're thinking like a hunter. I like this plan. Yeah, I'm not totally sure I love the plan, to be honest. Hello. Oh. But anything to stop you complaining. So... Can I get through there? No. What horrible, nasty creature from hell is down here? And why did I come down here? What is that? Is it talking to? Oh god! No! I just saw something around my brother. Something around my face, like dangly things. Look like tentacles. Okay, you know what? Never seen anything in more need of being dead than that. Spore carrier. Oh god. These are like the things I discovered in that vault, aren't they? Okay. Okay, where the hell did I come in? I got all lost now. Pick cave fungus. Um, spore plant. Yeah. Definitely not unhappy about you being dead. Oh my God. And I've not been down here, had I? Uh, local map. No, I don't think so. I think I'll be doing the world a major service if I kill off. Okay. I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh. Wow. That... Okay, I'm over here. Oh, God. Hello? 
Blue. Yeah. Definitely not feeling bad about killing those things. All the spore creatures that they spawn. Hello! Feeling even... Feeling even better about killing them now. Okay. You coming round, are you? Okay. Crippled. But alive. Crippled but alive. Could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. I've got four more doctor's bags and I believe I've got some uh, of that regen can. Okay. Trying to remember what I was getting up there, wasn't I? <laughs> so you've got horrible green lizards that spit stuff. You've got horrible green plants. I don't even know what they do, but I'm betting they spit stuff. And you have horrible green men. You scratch at your legs. Yeah. Not enjoying this holiday as much as I thought I would. Although on the bright side, let's look at the bright side. There may be some interesting things I can make. With <laughs> Hello. There may be some interesting things I can make with whatever it is I keep looting off them. And, and that's always a good thing, right? Uh, actually, take everything off of that. Do I need this anymore? Doesn't look like it. Plasma mine. Interesting. Plasma mine. Hello? I'm not green. I'm... just... exploring. And mean you no harm. Unless you happen to be green too. Um, in which case I'm probably going to shoot you. Or, and rob you. Okay, not hearing... I mean, this looks like somebody's home. And the plasma mine does sort of suggest that I'm robbing someone right now. Workbench, great. Big book of science, okay. Um, so, I, I could use this as a home base. You know. If I didn't mind green neighbours. Anything else under there? Torch lights are a little difficult to control sometimes. Cave okay, fungus. I have got my pit boy light. Oh, I've not got... I thought I had my pit boy light on. I'm thinking I need my pit boy light and the... the hello. Like it. Don't like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Don't like it. Like it. More like than dislike. Gun case. 
Me like. Ooh. Battle rifle. Can I sell it? It's not worth that much, to be honest. Um, laser RCW. Also not worth that much, but it's a little lighter. Well, we can take that. L Ooh. Leather armor reinforced. Maybe, um... Maybe Chalk would like that. Uh, I hope so, because I'm completely overladen now. I believe. Items. Yes, I am. Luckily, I've got my backpack. Let's put that on instead. Right. Terminal. Zion. National Park Network. Year 2097. The cougars are gone, finally. Oh, dear. Dear, incoming jokes. Is that cougars? That does, that's not how you spell cougar, is it? That's coffers. The coffers are gone, finally. All 34 that still lived, ate their dead for strength, then struck at SE. Yeah, no, that's coffers. Coffers. People who cough. All right. Victory. Ten months of killing. All I feel is cold. They deserved every goddamn bit of it. January the 17th. Thought I was dreaming, but the screams were real. For a moment, thought they tricked me. Just pretended to leave Zion. Then sent a patrol to track me down, but the screams were a woman's. Edged around a corner in a passageway to have a look. One volta, ankle deep in bear trap. Leveled my SMG, but the way she was crying stopped me. How she screamed when she saw me. Been there, boogeyman, a long time. Name Sylvie, claims she ran away from them, calls them evil people, children of the devil. Turns out they were sick after all, something they caught in the vault they lived in. They never came down, she never came down with it, yet. So help me, I've wound up being her nurse. January the 18th, her story matches what I learned from my interrogations last year. But according to her, let's just say it was bad to be a woman in that group. So when they left, she slipped away. She knows next to nothing about living outside the vault. Says she wants to learn. Yeah, this is three years later, okay. September the 9th. Never been so scared in my life. Canada wasn't scary, just sickening, the criminality of it. The end of the world wasn't scary. When I knew you and Alex were dead, I didn't have anything left to be scared about. I just went on for some reason. I wasn't scared fighting the vaulters. It was like I kept daring them to finish me. When I killed them, I think it was the closest I came to feeling happy in years. Sylvie is pregnant, and I'm terrified. Ridiculous old man, a father again at 47, in this world. She's so excited and so trusting. Says it's God's will that we have this child, like nothing can go wrong. You see, Char, she doesn't know about you and Alex, never told her. Almost did sometimes, but what you and I had, it seemed wrong to share it. More like an old man not wanting his young wife to know how he failed the one who came before her. Hiking into Tocqueville for medical books and supplies, this will be done right. I'm sorry, Char. Hope you can forgive me. One year later. Oh. Baby was breech. Would have been a son, Michael. Did my best to turn him. Failed. Must have, must have done caesarean too late. Had to put Sylvie out, and she never woke up. Buried them south of the Narrows. Well, this time I was at their, by their side. So much better. I think I can finally do it. Blow my brains out all over this goddamn cave. Oh, Jesus. So where is he? Did he do it? Locked. Traps. Lots of traps. But isn't this... Oh! This is where I came in. You, I could have got through if I'd have... If I'd have... Snook! Sneaked! Okay. I kind of want to find the man that did this, and I don't know, really. Blew his brains out all over this cave. I just kind of want to find him. Make I don't not so say make sure he did it, but 
I don't know. Lunchbox. Cherry bombs. We'll take them. That was a somewhat sad story, wasn't it? But he's here somewhere. He's He's blown his brains out. And yes, I'm going to admit it. There's a sad little side of me wants to check if he's got any decent stuff on him. But also, I kind of want to find out if if he did it or if he left. And I might find him somewhere out there. Because you never know. But I'm definitely not seeing a body. Do you think he went out to do it somewhere outside? Okay, I'm pretty sure he's not in here. So it would seem that he decided not to do it. Maybe I'll meet him. Man, sounds like he had a hard life, though. Sad story. I'm totally sure he's going to be an awful lot of fun. That was a kind of depressing place. Oh. And you seem to have triffids. Right behind you. Ooh. Amongst a lot of other things that really annoy the hell out of me. Um, are we going in the right direction now? Um, uh, general store, ranger station, yes, we're going back up there. We've got to get... I, I think that's how we get up there, did you? Whoa! Actually... Here we go! Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go! Okay. They probably got upset because we shot its uh, friend, but you know what? You belong to a sneaky, untrustworthy race. Yes, you do. That's it. I'm racist towards geckos. I can live with that. I can live with that. At least I'm not saying some of my best friends are geckos. Nope. Quite open about it. Can't stand them. Actually, that's not true. Pretty ambivalent to them. Just don't trust them at the moment, seeing as they snuck up on me. Um, can we can we get past this uh, big gentleman without needing to shoot? Him? We're, we're trying to go around. We're trying to go around. We're trying to go around. Carry all those bottle caps anyway. We're trying to go around. like crazy. See? Okay, so this is where we were. I, I gotta tell you, uh, I, I think coming back up here was a bad idea. I, I don't think we're supposed to be here. I think we're supposed to go all the way around. Yes, I do. I think we're supposed to go... Oh, hell yeah. Right, we're going all the way around. We're definitely not hopping down there. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so we're back at the cave. And are we supposed to follow the water? Possibly. Or are we supposed to cross over? Also possibly. Those, um, what did you call them? Uh, Waki Takis? Those are going to be loads better than signal drums and smoke signs. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't really use them much myself. I'm, I'm more into just shouting very loudly. That seems to work as well. Um. Okay, there's dead bodies. Did we, did we do that? I don't think we did that. Did we do that? We might have. I suppose the body could have. Oh, hello! No, you did that. Oh, very sneaky. Very well done indeed. Very impressed with that one. Your people are weird. Just letting you know. 
so we're um I think we're going in that direction. It is I gotta I gotta admit it's a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place. It kind of reminds me of Red Rock Canyon a little, uh, on 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 account of it having red rocks, I suppose. Um, hello. But it's nicer. It's less dusty. Uh, oh, is this the? Yeah, I think this is the Yagwai we shot off the cliff. Pretty sure it is. Let's have a look at this. Okay, we're actually going in that direction. Weapon binding ritual. Food. You guys eat some strange things as well. Let's go and have a look over here. You never Way know. I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. I've noticed you tend to say that a lot when the Slender Man appears. Do you get like all creepy when you see that symbol? Okay, dude, dude, right. That's what I'm talking about. Bloody Triffids. Wipe them out, for God's sake. They stand out. You should be able to spot them all. Okay, let's let's take the high ground. As I said, they're pretty easy to spot. So spot them. Spot them and kill them. Preferably with fire. If I had a flame. And they have friends. Feel free to kill them too. I, I'm not against all green things. I have friends who are ghouls who are definitely a shade of green. Ghouls are people too. You know what aren't people? Spore plants. No, they're not. Watch this. I, I, I'm now going to meet one that talks to me. Ha! What? Yeah. Ha. Oh, you, gotcha. Nice one. Nice one. You're getting the idea. You're getting the idea. Ha! Z Out of curiosity, though, why aren't you... Um, Why are you attacking before me? I mean, I know I told you. I hope you've got medicine better than some sticky herbs. Are you okay? Dude. Yeah. You're fine. You, you've got 286 out of 285 health. Stop crying. Okay. Yeah, you see what I'm saying, don't you? You, you? you agree with me? These things gotta die. Okay. Let's keep looking. Can we drop that? Oh, well. Hello? Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come Look, from. dude, we have Yagwai. We have Yagwai, I think. Pretty sure we have Yagwai. Pretty sure we do. Stop going on about them. They're not that bad. And I have to say, if you squint a little bit, they're almost cute and cuddly. Most importantly, that oh, uh, is something spitting at us. Is 
Something's... Something's... Bloody spitting at us. You see, that's most of all. Most of all, what's great about Yagwai is they don't spit at you. This, they may viciously try to claw your face off and eat you, but they don't spit at you. I'm all for creatures that don't spit at you. There's something comforting about them just running at you with claws and teeth going, ah, 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 ah. There's something deeply disturbing about the wildlife coming at you going, <coughs> Okay, seriously. Very disgusting. Okay, look. I, I, I don't want you to feel like I'm blaming you personally for the horrible way wildlife, okay? I just... I have this thing about things spitting on me. Okay. You know, I mean, call me crazy. And, and people have. What? He's got his... his what? What? He's changed to his club again. Stop doing that. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I think we found something. Apart from stuff to loot, I think we found... Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai. Like the shadow of a ghost. Yep, I literally just sneaked, snuck, just to shut you up. All right. So... Healing powder, banana yucca fruit. He won't be needing it. Healing stuff. Anything remotely useful? Tin cans? No. Fighting time. Where? 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 Okay. Well spotted. Well spotted. Well. Spotted. Spotted that man. What the hell is this then? A little fenced off area of nothing. Okay. I'm beginning to think exploring is a bit of a waste of time. There doesn't seem to be a whole heap of anything anywhere. Uh, duct stone, duct tape, duct stone, whetstone and duct tape merged into one. The ultimate. Fix anything and sharpen your blades all at the same time. Okay. Alright, fine. Pretty sure there's nothing here. Yet another dead end. If there were a tourist brochure for Zion, it would read, Come to the land of dead ends. Dead ends and things that hock a loogie on you. Okay, so I think we're turning north. He Caterpillar's Mound. What on earth is Caterpillar's Mound? A mound filled with caterpillars, perhaps? Um. Okay. Why is it called Caterpillar Mound? I, I see no evidence of caterpillars. No evidence of... Anything remotely useful. Fine. Let's go and deliver these... Bloody supplies to Daniel. 
the Narrows. On account of it being narrow, I have to tell you, it doesn't look any more narrow the than... The Narrows up ahead. That's the Sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. I don't like making anyone mad. I'm a friendly kind of guy. Which well, reminds then, me. Let's get to training. You're wearing leather armor. Look at this. You don't have to wear it. I'm not forcing you to wear it if, if you don't like it. But it's actually better. Nice one. Right. And seeing as you like it so well, very then, much, if you could just give to it training. to me for a little while. Don't worry. Don't just chill out. I am going to give it you back. I really am definitely, definitely going to give it you back. But what I'm going to do is repair it a little bit. Eh? So it's even better. Look at that. Now it's DT-10. See? Well then, let's get to trading. Good man. You know... Few more hours of travelling together, we'll have you in power armour. And a new hat. I mean Well then, i let's get I've to got trading. some new hats. You didn't like the did, maybe you like the cowboy one? You didn't like the park ranger one though, did you? If you could carry it for me for a while, I'd give you the why have I got a pre war park stroll outfit? Carry it. Let's see if you put that on. Nope. Neither. Fair enough, I suppose. No accounting for taste. No, I'm not talking about the outfit. I'm talking about the hat. Okay, should I put my weapon away? Okay. Let's have a look. Sorrow's Camp. Apparently we're not. Okay, that's a. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Okay. I like your bear glove. Glove. Where can I get one? That. Did do I? Yes. Very. It's very nice. A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. Yaogwai fist. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own, and only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people. Our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Um, I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, to be honest. I, I have plenty of big baseball glove type things. And I've killed plenty of Yagwai, so I'm a bit... What's your deal? Yeah. Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? No, no, it, it sounds very, very nice indeed. Uh, what do you do when you're not delivering babies? I haven't seen any children. I haven't really explored, have I? What do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Okay. Let's see. I've not seen any children. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the white legs come for us in force. Okay. Let's talk about something What else. would you speak of? Um, yeah, tell me about Daniel. Yes. Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the holy books. Okay, holy books? Yes, the language of the new Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. The father in the caves, okay. Have you known him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. 
Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Okay. Let's talk about What else. would you speak of? Who is the father of the cave? In the cave. Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've heard about the new Canaanites. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned okay. against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. Yeah, fascinating. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the father is greater than my own. Okay. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. This father of the cave, is it the guy from the cave with the, the guy that said he was going to blow his brains out? Did he come out and start all these tribes or some? This is going to get complicated, isn't it? This is going to get complicated and it's going to get weird. Weirder. Yippee, yeah, there'll be no wedding bells for today.